Good Sunday to all of you out there watching the 2018 Grand Gravel 500. It's Eric Richenberger with a noon update as to the progress of all of our racers. And as I'm sitting here looking at this screen, I see something that's pretty exciting. And I was going to see if you guys could just point it out. Um, I'm just going to give you just a little bit of a hint right here. Yeah. Hal Russell has finished the iconic face of bike packing across America. Mr. Hal Russell with a smile as big as you could see has finished the Grand Gravel 500 at three days, five hours and 20 minutes. And uh, Billy Rice got some pretty good footage of him, and the guy is always in just such a good, positive mood. Uh, no other sense of humor quite like Hal Russell. So Hal, congratulations on your finish. I hope you rest up and that you get back home safe and sound. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and look at the last uh, 24 hours or so on the Grand Gravel 500. Um, I have the clock set up to 5.20 yesterday, and the time is going to be going pretty fast. So we're just going to go ahead and do a brief overview. Uh, you see that yesterday we had Bo and Alan finish up. They took third and fourth, I believe. And then you have our quartet of riders here. You have Matt Murphy, Matt Murphy John Hurtel, Gary Rogers, and David Renninger. Uh, all finished up yesterday. Congratulations to you all. David, sorry about the onslaught of uh, public safety vehicles. We were just worried about you, but it's nice to know that that feature on the spot works. So uh, thanks for being the beta tester on that. As we start getting into day four, uh, you're going to see our racers come up to their starting points for today. And so here's at the start of day four, 0523. You see that Hal Russell has pushed on through the night. He's on the northerly trek, and he actually has already finished. We'll see that happen. Uh, you see behind him, you have Eric Armentrout and I think uh, Patrick Farnsworth. The two Sheilas and our fearless and rustic and grit-worthy Louis Samard. Uh, Eric Samard, sorry about that. And um, he is right in the middle of the Davy Crockett National Forest. So it looks like all of these riders right here in this southern section of the route are going to finish today if, ha if they haven't already finished. And it looks like Louis is going to be able to progress down past the Davy Crockett. What I'm hoping is that he's going to make it to Point Blank or further and maybe Huntsville and finish up tomorrow. So we'll see... Uh, the standings as they go up to current time and you see Hal Russell making his iconic entry into College Station and there he goes here comes Eric Armentrout and it looks like we are um, pretty much at current time so uh, congratulations to to all the racers who have who have finished um, I don't think that we've had any significant mishaps, just David Renninger's butt activation of his spot, and that's good. By the way, folks, Billy Rice is healing up. He's feeling much better, and he's been out on the course meeting up with some of the riders. You know, it, it, it comes down sometimes to making good and smart decisions, especially when it comes to anything that involves respiratory and one thing about these races and how these racers are pushing themselves is that if you get sick, any type, you have to really keep a close eye on yourself because your body just does not have time to heal like you would normally. Yeah, you just can't sit down in bed all day and, and rest up and allow your body to do its thing because you're constantly pushing yourself, you're sleep deprived, you're just not recovering. So if you do get respiratory infections, I'd say 9 out of 10 times, if not greater, um, it's just not going to get better. So those folks that make those smart decisions, uh, kudos to you for being able to detach yourself from the scenario, look at things objectively, and then make a very difficult decision. It's never fun to drop, and 
it does kind of haunt you throughout the year, but I'd rather a drop than see somebody end up in the hospital. So uh, it looks like Louie has made it all the way down to just north of Groveton. Um, he is currently at mile uh, 316, so he has 180 miles left to finish. Our Sheila's are just, uh, we'll just kind of split the difference and call it right at 100 miles for them both. Uh, Sheila Torres Blank is a little bit ahead. You have Patrick Farnsworth, who's about 30 miles from the finish line, and Eric is right at 14 miles away. So these guys will finish up soon. I'm sure the two Sheilas will. And then, last but definitely not least, Mr. Louie up there in the Davy Crockett is slowly making his way down south, and we'll be keeping a close eye on him. That's all I have for today. I hope that you guys have a wonderful Sunday and stay tuned for an evening update. Goodbye.